Well, let's talk about the Asher knife flashback. Now, this is an interesting knife because it's very traditional looking, isn't it? Yet, it's a flipper. Yeah, it's a flipper. And it's 12C27. So, it's a Sandvik steel. It's a stainless steel. It's lightweight. It's not very big. And it's very inexpensive at under $40, $39.99. I'll give you the link to Asher Knives and you can go get you one. Deep carry pocket clip, flat screws, lots of room to, you know, pop right over the lip of your pants, no problem. Right hand tip up only, contour G10 scales with some grip to them, not bad. This one's centered up. Uh, Flips open pretty nicely, no uh, blade plate or lock rock, and it's a 30% lock up. So let's see if the blade will drop. Yeah, it will. Um, it's so light, I'm surprised, actually. Oh, there she comes. She's coming to bite me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, but it's light. It's not going to bite. It's too light to bite. And it comes in a box. And let's see if we can get it open. Here we go. So it's like in a fitted box, you know, that's all good. And it's solid. It's a very structural box, so that's nice as well. But yeah, pocket clip, yeah, that's, I mean, it's deep carry, so that's nice. It's going to be very uh, discreet type carry and lightweight. I mean, uh, that's what I noticed big time when I got it out of the box. Ounces. 2.42 ounces. I mean, you know, where do you go from there? 68 uh, grams. Not much there. And let's take the blade stock under three, under three millimeters. You got 2.6 at 0.1 of an inch and then 0.46 thick at 11.8 millimeters. So um, it's very slender. Uh, the blade stock is pretty slender. Now let's see. Okay. Um, yes, it's cutting paper. Um, it's not just massacring it. Uh, I would say this could use a little bit of tune up on my strop to really bring it as sharp as it should be but it's not quite as sharp as i would like it to be let me see if i can catch the edge of my desk pull it over um okay yeah 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 it, it, i mean it's there enough for you know service use but it could definitely use uh, a finer edge and it's stonewash type blade. It's got a fuller on both sides. But I think you're really, your only opening here is the flipper tab. I think that's it for you. Because I don't see, well, okay. Okay, yeah, you can, you can middle finger flick it. Um, okay, yeah, it's enough above the scales there, enough to get your finger on there. And give it a little bit of gravity go but you know it's i guess it's because the blade's so light that you can make enough contact with that to kick it open so okay okay middle finger or flipper tab um let's see oh no but that's so light okay yeah i can pop it out that way uh, the detent's not very strong let me yeah see it's not exactly a no-fail hold on to the detent ball all day long. No, no. Um, you know, I give it a 4.2 on the detent scale. Not not all that strong. But this way, trying to uh, to open it is, is not working because the blade's just so light, you know. Uh, but it kicks right out. Lazy flip. It'll get it done. And, you know, the blade has pretty decent action considering how light it is 
And it's not a very big knife. Let's grab my tape. It's a three and a seven, isn't it? Yeah, it's a three and a seven. Three inch blade, seven inches overall. Trying to creep up on 18 centimeters before this thing went through the end of the tape. 75 millimeter blade length. So there you have it. Yeah, very lightweight. Uh, a three and a seven, very usable, very traditional looking, very inexpensive. Uh, ergos, well, I can get all my fingers on there, so that's good. Uh, you got this little cutaway here, so that's good for sharpening purposes. And this kind of swedge comes down here, helps reinforce this tip. I don't consider this a heavy use knife. I consider it a light use knife. And just, just one of those you can carry around with you, do whatever. Uh, hardware's nothing to write home about, you know, number six is back here. The pivot is, uh, accessible from both sides. So, uh, we'll take it apart, kind of check out what it looks like inside. Although I'm thinking we got bearings and not much else. We've got, uh, a liner in here reinforcing this, uh, this pivot area and that kind of thing here. And that's about it, I mean, because it is so lightweight. Uh, you know, the design flow is fine. Flows right in here, into here. Let's see what our blade to handle length. Well, if you're going to follow this around, then I guess you're okay. Otherwise, if you're back here, I think you could have put a little bit more blade in there. Maybe another sixteenth. But... It is what it is. Um, I don't know if it looks out of proportion necessarily. So, um, yeah, I mean, when it when I first got it, I, I just felt like it very lightweight, very traditional looking, but it's a nice flipper. And so it's got that fidget factor to it. Uh, so this is something that's easy, easy to carry. I think one of the big advantages to the Asher knife brand, even though they're made in China, is that you're getting them from Justin. It's his company. He's having these knives made. And therefore, you know, you've got a place to go if you need service, repair, you know, that kind of thing, obviously. So exchange if you have any issues with the knife. So you have a USA person to deal with. Here's the backspacer on this one. It almost looks like natural G10. You know that? That's interesting. I guess we'll know more when we take it apart. Where's my balance point on this knife? Okay, that's good. Um, reverse grip is comfortable. Not sure why you'd need it, but... Uh, it feels solid, no blade player lock rock, anything like that. Okay, let's see which is the best access point to disassemble this knife, and I'm not sure which one it is, and it's moving on both sides. So, let's set up the other guy here, and let's... Get it from both sides. How about that? No, it'll break apart. No problem. It's just uh, one of those things. It's a round pivot. Not my favorite way to do that. I like a D-shaped pivot, but okay. As long as I got access to both sides, I'm, I'm okay. And now we got number sixes here. So let's just dig in and get these body screws out of here. We got one and we got two and the pocket clip ain't connected to anything except the scale. So I don't, yeah, that's nothing. Okay. So there we go. There's our liner and there's your blade uh, stop travel here. Uh, looks like a ceramic detent ball. And yes, this liner's held in also with this, uh, with these uh, pocket clip screws. So stabilize there. 
and up here as well and that would affect you know this as well so yeah all these four screws are coming in to stabilize this um, here we go Oof, we got tiny little bearings and they're not um, ceramic but that's okay it's not a very expensive knife and then there's our one piece pivot coming out of the presentation side and of course now yes this is a natural G10 backspacers got a little a little something on here um, and yeah so this is being held in place here as well by these body screws okay pretty simple yeah I pretty much saw what I figured I'd see which is the steel liners uh, reinforcing this area here around the pivot and uh, it's pretty lightweight you know because they minimize these these liners and then of course the bearings which are really small little suckers and just the regular standard um, hardware and you know natural g10 uh, backspacer kind of interesting in that regard huh so i guess we can slap this thing back on here yeah come on buddy are we gonna do that we can do that there we go now our uh, presentation side had the pivot and we can put a bearing there and a little bit of uh, lubrication don't need much on these do we and throw this uh, blade on just like that more bearings just like that and what are we doing roll that around and this should be pretty easy here and it is um, you know what do you got to to match up to really nothing because let's push this through from this side okay there you go I had to just move that blade a little bit okay now and we want to get this put back in position I didn't see a lot of thread locker on here so I'm not sure I really need to get on the other side of this but we'll, we'll know more when it comes to locking it down and getting the the right uh, action on the blade again and are we gonna get oh we weren't we weren't sitting in the right position now we are okay and let's do a little of this as well slide it in and we're good so we're back together it looks centered see if we got any no i got no play um i think i'm gonna hold on i think i'm gonna back it off just a tad oh here we go yeah just a tad and it gets it real fidgety real fidgety and it's still centered and no play so yeah this is this is better than it was to begin with as far as really nice easy drop oh back with the flash back back with the back the flash back that is lightweight easy carry um very inexpensive maybe this is you maybe this is not you uh very easy to maintain strop the edge up sharpen shouldn't be difficult with this uh, 12c 27 steel nice and stainless though 
Uh, got a backspacer on it. Interesting, you know, kind of a retro look to it, a very traditional look and uh, real fidget friendly. Um, take a look um, at the coming months. Although you can look at the Sentry, the Nomad, and so many others that he has on his site, but he's coming forward with some interesting releases in the summer of 2021. So I'm looking forward to seeing those as well. And I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. Click on the link below, Asher Knives. Check them out. You know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.